Hello, everyone, and welcome to another week of our Gospel Reflections. It's Monday, it's the 27th week of Ordinary Time, and we've also entered into the month of October. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Luke chapter 10, verse 25 to 37. There was a lawyer who, to disconcert Jesus, stood up and said to him, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbour as yourself. You have answered right, said Jesus. Do this and life is yours. But the man was anxious to justify himself and said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, a man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he fell into the hands of brigands. They took all he had, beat him and then made off, leaving him half dead. Now a priest happened to be travelling down the same road, but when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite who came to the place saw him and passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan traveller who came upon him was moved with compassion when he saw him. He went up and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. Then he lifted him on his own mount carried him to the inn and looked after him. Next day, he took out two denarii and handed them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back, I will make good any extra expense you have. Which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbour to the man who fell into the brigand's hands? The one who took pity on him, he replied. Jesus said, go and do the same yourself. The Gospel of the Lord. To many a Jew at the time of Jesus, there is no such thing as a good Samaritan. It was simply a contradiction in terms. Samaritans were the enemy, outcasts. And they were simply despised. So it's striking that the gospel writer of Luke changes the dialogue about the two commandments. Because in Mark's and Matthew's gospels, it is Jesus who answers the question about the commandments. But here in Luke, Jesus challenges the questioner, the lawyer. And the lawyer is the one who then gives the right answer. It's also interesting to note that the mugging is depicted on the wadi quilt. It's a ravine running down from Ananathoth, just north of Jerusalem, to Jericho. It has quite a number of twists and turns, which were ideal opportunities to ambush people. So historically, this place exists. It's also striking that in the lawyer's reply at the very end, despite Jesus' praise of the Samaritan rescuer, that the lawyer still cannot even bring himself to pronounce the hated name, Samaritan. 
And he simply says, the one who. This story also tells us about the dilemma of the priest and the Levite. If the traveller that has been robbed turns out to be dead, then they will be unable to perform their sacred duties. They would be regarded as ritually unclean and not welcome in the temple. So the legal dilemma of the priest and the Levite makes the Samaritan's attentive generosity all the more striking because a Samaritan is free of any such hang-ups of the law. Love that is shown to the unfortunate and the downtrodden is always a major theme for the writer of Luke. But it's also interesting to note at the end the Samaritan's careful administration of his funds. He does not give a blank check, but simply two days' wages and the commitment that he will add to this on his return if that's necessary. During our day to day, let us look for ways to be the Good Samaritan to others around us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. I'm going to take three weeks break uh, from these reflections to have a bit of a holiday. Uh, so I will be returning later in the month of October. My colleagues uh, will be presenting these reflections to you uh, from this point onwards. And so I look forward to seeing you when I get back and continuing to share these reflections with you. So until I see you again, till then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone.